Okay, so this is second part of chapter 6, Electricity and Magnetism. So we know that there are two types of current. One we call it direct current, another one we call it alternating current. So some of you reflect to me that you actually confuse between direct current and alternating current. So I would like to explain here. So direct current, alternating current, you see the symbol for alternating current is like a charging, uh, it's like a worm. So you see a worm means that there is no positive terminal and there is no uh, negative terminal. Let's say I have uh, something like, okay. Uh, any electrical device so the current flowing in such a way that it flow in this direction after it complete the one circle cycle and then it will come back in another cycle okay so this is what we call alternating current you see that the current flow like this like this like this like this clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise that is what we call alternating current so direct current is like battery you have terminal positive you have terminal negative and then it actually connected to uh let's say any electrical device here and then the direction will the direction of electric current is always the same only one direction okay so it's that is from positive terminal of battery go to negative terminal of battery so how does it look like you i hope that you remember how battery look like so this is normally positive right this is negative right the one that uh, longer is positive the one the one that shorter is actually negative you have a curve inside actually okay so which means this is positive this is negative this is one dry cell okay so alternating current is uh, much better compared to direct current because for alternating current you can change the voltage okay the voltage of the current can be step up or step down but the voltage of direct current is fixed okay so the voltage is fixed let's say you get a battery 1.5 volt that is you get 1.5 volt for the whole time you won't get a higher voltage or lower voltage but alternating current you can adjust it by using transformer so we are going to learn transformer at the end of this chapter so now you understand we have two types of current that is direct current and alternating current direct current flow in one direction alternating current flow in alternate uh, changing keep changing in a certain frequency of electric current that is what, what we call ac and dc so you look at the example of direct current it's our solar cell our uh, car battery and normal battery dry cell these are all direct current okay alternating current that we use for most mostly uh, almost all electrical device that we use at home is actually using alternating current like a uh, toaster hair dryer air conditioner tv and so on so the power station that uh, the electric current that produced by power station is actually alternating current okay you still remember a uh, previous lesson we said that if you want to produce current you must have relative motion between magnetic flux and conductor right so uh, between when you change the direction you you put the magnet in out in out or you actually uh, turn the solenoid uh, in certain direction so it will actually generate alternating current because we want to step out and step down the voltage uh, throughout the journey of transmission okay so now you understand what is current we go to cro cathode ray oscilloscope is a device it's a device that we use to determine or we use to study the shape of the graph of alternating current uh, di uh, direct current voltage and so on so we have to learn how does the how does the uh, graph look like so this is what we call CRO. We have this in lab. So when we meet later, I will show you this thing and then you can actually play with it. We have focus control knob. That is to make sure that the dot is very fine dot. If it is very blur and very big, we want to focus it. Okay, so you have to adjust this knob. Intensity is to control the brightness of the light. It's green light, one dot, fluorescent light. Time base is to control the x-axis. Uh, is, you see that our graph normally we have x-axis and y-axis right so time knot is actually lie on x-axis okay so you want to control x-axis scale like normal graph you control your scale by one two three like this right you can control it to 10 20 30 you can control it to 5 10 15 like this right so the time knot actually is to control the scale on the 
x axis okay and then uh, we have direct current or alternating current switch either you connect to alternating current or you connect to direct current so x shift knob is to adjust that the dot let's say you want the dot to move left and right then we adjust x shift if you want the dot to move up and down we use y shift okay so y gain is the scale on y axis lah. like just now we have 1 2 3 10 20 30 same thing here if you have 1 2 3 you can adjust the scale to 10 20 30 and so on depends on the setting of your cro so you kind of blur i know because you never you didn't really see this thing once you see it it is actually very simple and a very basic electrical devices to study the graph of AC or DC at your standard okay so you see this this is the the outcome so when you this is the first setting you see that we have one dot that is when you didn't on your time best you turn off your time best means that you turn off your x-axis one you once you turn on your x-axis it will become a straight line okay so when you have this one you see that when you have your time best is on and it is direct current you will get a straight line up or straight line down so what is the voltage you can calculate the number of the boxes here that is the scale okay if let's say one division is one volt this one will be 1.5 volt you see that 1.5 volt this one is 1.5 volt this is negative 1.5 volt this is positive 1.5 volt this one also 1.5 and this one also 1.5 just that this one time best is off time best is on for figure 6.17 okay uh, you will get uh, closer or a clearer to it when you look at the device okay so this is alternating current as what i explained in our zoom class previously i said that alternating current you will get up and down up and down it's just like a curve okay so this is what we call sinusoidal graph because it looks like sine sinus sine graph okay so in your mathematics you learn, learn this right so the name of the curve sinusoidal graph and then you see that if this is uh, the maximum value from equilibrium is two division to dua peta let's say you adjust your y axis as one division represent one voltage so this one will be two voltage two volt this one will be two volt also this is with your time base on time base off okay high base on time base off okay i have recorded the video last year i still remember last year when i did the experiment i did record the uh the video i will try to pause also in youtube okay you can go through it okay that is about the device that you use to study alternating current and direct current so after this uh device we are going to learn what is the problem that related to electrical supply in our daily life okay so in generating energy uh, like solar energy or solar cell the main the main problem that we are facing now is that we don't really have enough person to handle uh, solar cell uh, we actually government actually implement this in many longhouse and so on but once it rosa nobody go and repair it because people don't know about this thing it is very difficult to maintain that is the problem okay and then another and others problem like uh, hydroelectric it actually um, it actually destroy ecosystem and it affect the habitat it destroy habitat affect the ecosystem and then it's actually quite expensive okay even though we said that it is uh, renewable energy okay so those are the uh, those are the things or the issue that we face with the electricity generation generator generating okay so we have problem like nuclear energy we don't really have this in malaysia but uh, for certain country that they don't really have natural resource of energy they they opt for uh, uh, nuclear energy like japan okay but you have risk also right leakage of nuclear are radioactive okay so this is the second part of this chapter for next chapter i'm going to explain transformer Okay, thank you class.